Okay, guys. It is raining outside and it's like 30 degrees. So I'm making the video on my phone. Um, I was going to show you guys what I got. This big snake over here. They don't make hides um, that are big. You know, like the wood hides for the big snake. Let me show you guys what my uh, buddy Robert from the pet store actually texted me. Let me stand where the light isn't shining on me. Uh, he texted me and told me they had these tubs over there at Lowe's. So I picked one up. It's a odd job multi-purpose multi mixing tray. It says odd job 27 liter, 7 gallon mixing tray. So it's this container right here. And it doesn't quite, <laughs> it's a little bit too big with the edges. So I took it outside and cut off the edges of it. So you can see the edges are cut on the sides. It had the rolled edges. Cut it with the skill saw and made a slice in the front. It's not pretty, but it'll, it'll do the job. I just gonna cut this piece off. See the piece, Let's see. See the piece that I cut, I need to cut it across so to have an entryway for the tub. And then I'm gonna put this in there for the big boa. I figured I would show you guys what works as a hide. It is only, it's, it's pretty, you know, not real tall. I figured I'd put this in there and uh, if you wanna decorate something like this up, they do sell those pieces of uh, cork bark, you know, like the cork bark tile. You could probably hot glue it to the outside of this and make it look fancy. I'm just gonna toss it in there because Snake is in shed and it needs a hide. And um, she's been acting stressed out. Like when I touch her, she's hissing at me and acting mean. So I figured she needed to hide. The hog island's over here soaking. You can see the hog island's right there soaking in the water dish. I think she's going in the shed too. So um, y'all get an update about with the room and what's been going on. Um, later, I actually bought this piece of grapevine that is in this enclosure here. With the carpet python, the carpet python soaking. I actually got some kind of forest floor uh, substrate, and I'm trying it out to see how well it holds up humidity instead of the reptile bark. Reptile bark I usually have to wash out, or it'll, it leaves like this brown, brownish red powder on my snakes. So, uh, like whenever I still had Popeye the pied ball python, it would turn them a dingy red color, is the white on them. So I quit. I Kind of have to rinse reptile bark off one time and then put it in their enclosure. But, um, anyways, using the floor floor, I figured I'd show you guys what I use for the big snakes for a hide. And as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video.